Hi, I'm Ashley Peterson, and welcome to Circuit Breaker, the news roundup from IBM Research. First up, helping AI keep conversations straight. The large language model explosion has primarily been based on one breakthrough, the transformer. This architecture allows models to learn context from data and generate content. But the problem is, the longer the conversation with an LLM, the more information it has to hold in its memory. Eventually, the model will freeze up. IBM Research has been working on a potential solution, weaving another technology called state space models into transformers. SSMs have been invaluable in electrical engineering for years, and now they're helping to keep the memory demands of LLMs down by summarizing the key points for a model to keep track of as it runs. IBM Research just released and open sourced a new model based on this blend called Bamba. Just like that aunt that you can never seem to get off the phone, it can carry on conversations far longer than other models. Next, celebrating an IEEE milestone. Two researchers with connections to IBM Research were recently honored at the IEEE's Vision Innovation Challenges Summit in Tokyo. Retired IBM Research scientist Mikos Atjai won the John von Neumann Medal for his work on the creation of lattice-based cryptography, which underpins much of the research done today on quantum-safe cryptography. The award also recognized his research establishing lower bounds of computational complexity, a feat of mathematics that proves the least amount of resources needed to solve a given problem. MIT professor Regina Barzilai, a past IBM Research collaborator, won the IBM-sponsored Francis E. Allen Medal for her machine learning algorithms that have led to a real impact on the field of medicine, including early breast cancer detection. Congratulations to both of these amazing researchers for their contributions to the world of science. And finally, six decades at our research headquarters is just the beginning. Just this past weekend, we celebrated the 64th anniversary of the opening of the IBM TJ Watson Research Center at New Yorktown Heights, New York. That's where I'm standing right now. IBM Research began life on the campus of Columbia University, but it moved into its own space upstate in 1961. Since that time, thousands of researchers have worked in these halls and have been part of some of the biggest breakthroughs in science. We've had two Nobel laureates, several National Medal of Science winners, researchers have redefined their fields, and innovations that have reshaped the world. And we're still at it today. This building houses IBM's most powerful quantum computer, cutting edge AI clusters, and our new Spire AI accelerators. And that's all just in a single room here. For more on the latest innovations from IBM, make sure you subscribe to our newsletter, Future Forward. Till next time.